Hi everybody. Uh, so uh, I uh, am pretty interested in boating. I used to teach sailing, and uh, basically uh, the East Coast, um, right along on here. Uh, and I flipped this upside down uh, to kind of center this on Florida. So uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do this, but uh, technically it is possible to sail all the way to South America fairly safely in terms of you don't have to be out in the middle of the ocean. Um, so like my uh, family lives up here in Boston area and you could basically sail down to New York and then uh, sail pretty much down into this area and then finally sail to uh, Florida before you head out into uh, very international waters where there are pirates. But I think people do sail uh, in between these islands. So but uh, to do this, it takes about, uh, I mean, this is thousands of miles. So uh, I think I calculated it. It was like three months to sail from uh, Boston to uh, Rio de Janeiro, which is way the heck down there. So you'd have to go all the way this way. But a good halfway point is Florida. And Florida um, is a center for a lot of international business that deals with Latin America. Uh, for example, big software companies or even shipping companies. Uh, so uh, because you're just so close. And honestly, there's a lot of people that don't even speak English in Florida. So uh, now the options in Florida are kind of limited. Um, there is this area, uh, which is Tampa. And then there's kind of uh, Palm Beach. And uh, this is actually Fort Lauderdale is right on there. So uh, Miami is probably the best option, but um, maybe more expensive. And even that, I'm not totally sure on. So this bay is just awesome. Um, and certainly, uh, I would love to just do the research only on the bay here. There's probably a lot more places to uh, deal with shipping and buying a boat or even starting a boating company. So the topic here is... You know, like what all is going on in Fort Lauderdale and how to get involved in boating and sailing there affordably. And, uh, you know, it, it actually would be kind of boring to sail all the way down to Miami um, along the coast. It would actually, the waves would be a little bit intense, but there's a little passageway here, um, as you can see. And I don't know anything about it, but it looks like you can pretty much make it all the way to Miami along this little passageway. Now, this is not a super big passageway. It's mainly for motorboats. So we're going to kind of focus. And this little thing causes a huge problem for sailboats, right? Uh, because that's a bridge. And you have to wait. There's schedules that you got to know about. And even in Fort Lauderdale, even this has a, has a schedule. So... Uh, this one is a pretty big bridge too, and it also got a schedule. So just kind of kind of time it a little bit harder with the wind and different things. But what I noticed is my friend lives over on here, and uh, we were discussing, hey, man, um, let's try to buy a boat, get a few people involved, maybe even make a crazy internet video on YouTube about it. Um, but uh, he happens to live kind of here just north of Fort Lauderdale. And let's just take a look at Fort Lauderdale so you can see what's going on. So I walked from his house to downtown Fort Lauderdale, and uh, he's uh, doing all right. Um, and uh, it was kind of nice. Uh, it's a nice little walk. It's very hot in the uh, even at the end of the summertime. I think I was there September, and I was drenched in sweat just from walking like from I don't know this area to there. Uh, but uh, there are some other options. Uh, back in here, there may be a boat yard here, for example, some other things. But I'm going to really focus on Fort Lauderdale and kind of this pass passageway out into here. So the problem is that you see these are actual boat yards. That's a boat yard. That's a boat yard. That's a boat yard. And then there's kind of a little docking area right in downtown. And obviously the best is right downtown. I don't even know how much any of these docks are. So completely ignorant about the prices here so uh that's part of the project so these are all little inlets and honestly man there's not a lot of boats out on the water here in fort lauderdale shame on them 
Um, and that is pretty much because you're just right out in the ocean at this point. And these waves can get to be pretty big, um, even surfable. So down here in Miami, we'll just take a quick look. Uh, you can kind of see uh, here's kind of the Miami area and then Miami Beach if you're not familiar. So honestly... Uh, it's looking like not a whole lot of places. So, and even perhaps dangerously shallow, uh, this little area here, it looks like that's dredged and that's dredged. Might not even be able to get a sailboat into here. So who knows? Um, I don't know uh, what the deal is with that. Uh, so this looks pretty dredged and you can probably get a sailboat all the way in here. And that is a pretty expensive project to get these things dredged. So we're going to kind of focus on Fort Lauderdale and honestly it, it would be kind of a, it, it is kind of nice to be dumped right into the ocean and then, you know, you can almost even make it to the islands out here in a good, certainly two days and maybe even a day. Um, and, uh, this is uh, Nassau, Bahamas and all that. So, and even Cuba, this is like 90 miles. So basically, five miles um i would say you know on a sailboat basically you know day two days so let's let's just say 30 miles is a leisurely day um for a sailboat so um and uh with heavier winds and all this kind of stuff you just want to be careful so not a whole lot of options here um remember these are smaller and i'm familiar with uh Look at this, Jupiter's over here. That's kind of cool. Um, I know they also got Hollywood there too in Florida, but you can kind of see this could be dangerous, rocky shoals. I, I don't know what's exactly going on. And you got some airports and stuff. So you might, Freeport actually might be a nice little place just to uh, check out. Um, I, I would wonder which side you'd sail in on. Maybe this side might be shallow. So this might be a little deeper, but it might be hard to dock. So depending on what you're trying to do. So, uh, but for now, uh, uh, if you're with me on this, um, I'm trying to essentially get a boat with a few other people, rent it out, um, share it, maybe even make a little business out of it. Um, who knows? Um, so Fort Lauderdale, here we are. Um, and what I really liked is there's not a, so, so here's the downtown, right? So you can kind of see if there are some people that cruise on downtown in their little boats. And essentially what happens is you kind of go up into this river here. And there are some boats that are docked right along the river here. And I don't know what the regulations are and all that. But there is the original house in Fort Lauderdale is actually right on in here. So... This, this area was like, I don't even know. It's the New River Inn. What is this? Doesn't really even say. So it's like right around here somewhere, but uh, might not even show. So this might be the original uh, Fort Lauderdale. I don't know. It's a historical place, but it doesn't even say. This is like top secret location there's iguanas running along here it was really interesting so what i noticed is that this is the spot so actually people don't really even park there are a few yachts here but there, see there's another uh bridge there you gotta cross a bridge there you gotta cross and i think you're only in home sweet homeland out into here and it looks like you're pretty good to go at that point and you might even be able to make it home to the sea. Not really. If you go this way. So sailboats have a little bit of a struggle. Now there was a few big cat boats. Now these guys, these are million dollar boats. These, these, Some of these I noticed. And they park them right along here and maybe even live in them. And pay like a little rental fee. Um, but it looks to be super cool just to be so close to downtown. The downtown, it's not super great. There's a little kind of like smaller district. I can't even remember. It's kind of uh, there's a there's a district over here somewhere. But 
in terms of boat yards, you can see there's this one here. So this is the this is kind of a cool little spot. So they got this like little restaurant, maybe some dock lifting in and out here. And who knows where you bring your boat from here. I, I don't even know if that's a boat yard. Might be boat repair, might be there's tugboats too in here too. So I think this is a water taxi company right on here, those yellow boats. And from what I understand, it's pretty cheap to get a water taxi cruise. And that's pretty much the way to get around if you want to just see the water in Fort Lauderdale. Now, this collection of boats is kind of the key, right? So they got, this is their public dockage. So you can pull up a boat and kind of get a restaurant, hang out in the downtown area. And then there's like kind of the edge of Fort Lauderdale right in here. So <clears throat> these docks may actually be <clears throat> belong to uh, uh, these uh, these building complexes. I, I don't know. So, but you can kind of see it's still loading very very slowly. Imagery. Sorry about that. But so it's in my opinion, if you can get. If we could, if I could work with some people in on here, there's not a whole lot of options, and it may be even easier just to work with like the boat yard here and talk with them. Is there anybody there that's willing to uh, work on boating or something with you? So on this side, there is another couple yachts, and actually, they don't even show you the catamarans. These show mostly bigger power boats which i think i remember that being power boats but there was catamarans kind of in this area here i'm trying to see if you can see that's probably a catamaran boat right there but and actually aha here you go that's probably a catamaran this is a trimaran one two three so there is a few of these kind of on that side of the bridge and honestly the sailing guys are the guys to know so but this, these are those. That's like a million bucks for a boat there. So, and then the docking fee. It looked like it was a uh, some kind of company that runs the docking here. Um, so they have power and some other things, and I'm not sure how that works. So they may have gotten a contract with uh, the city. Maybe it's even goes down to Florida those contracts. So this is still loading up these hotels along the uh, ocean front there, but. Uh, so it is just nice to be in Fort downtown Fort Lauderdale. And, and if you're going to a big sea crossing the ocean and you come into Fort Lauderdale, oh, well, it's, this is only going to be a couple hours. Don't even worry about it. So, and honestly, it's kind of a nice little boat. A lot of families come down in here and cruise. So on this side, you can see what happens. So that looks like a gated bridge so that means that these boats can get out so all those guys are not really part of the fort lauderdale deal but that's kind of the path so really this this is the biggest boating community here right i think that these guys in here it's a lot of money but i, I don't know how much they're really using their boats so what happens is that it, it turns out to be these these other yachts back in here. So there is a nice now it is nice to have a little slip as they call it, and you can check on slip rentals. And even in Seattle, I found slip rentals to be a few hundred dollars. Let me look at slip rentals and see what the costs are, just to double check on this. Okay, so what I did is just so did slip fee for Lauderdale and basically could be marina you could be looking for or whatever else. So basically, right, um, and I don't know what's wrong with Google these days, but so so downtown Fort Lauderdale, which we can basically kind of see is my internet's slow for some reason, but so you basically got got this whole area here and now obviously that big boat yard this is on the uh, south side let me pause this for a second all right so here we are back on the map now essentially right 
the, the problem is that okay so it's like a club like there's a few people that live on the river here if you can't get with these situations you're pretty much out of luck right so there's probably maybe a little bit of an affordable spot back in here but i don't even know so is this it's like really tight for boats so maybe even have to kind of valet yourself out of there so the only other option essentially is to wait and go all the way back to these three marinas now there is a luxury that there's there's more than three marinas here so <clears throat> basically here's the fort lateral airport you could pretty much even just walk over to the boat which is totally awesome I, I don't know of too many places with a major airport like this with a boating area so close so that is a huge advantage if you need it so uh and now so what what happens is that they got this boat yard so if you just kind of compare you know really what i'm looking for is cool fine boat yard um and Oh, sorry about that. That was my roommate here. But uh, so it's just there's a lot of little other spots too, which is great. So I mean, it's 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 not absolutely necessary to work with a boat yard. So these little spots, I mean, this this these are quite spots. So the problem still remains is this little spot here. So this bridge is a pretty major road heading across and they might not be there's a special channel that you have to call on these bridges and i think they got like a 24-hour person that maintains the bridges but it's kind of on a schedule so sometimes <clears throat> i'd have to look up what the schedule is but <clears throat> uh but basically what i did is i opened up the web pages for these the ones that seemed cooler so it's kind of hard to say just as a starting point <clears throat> quick easy professionalism you can kind of deal with bow yards so let's go back to this other image here so on this you can kind of start to see what's going on so these bow yards this is kind of unfortunately it's flipped the other way around but google's having some trouble with their map program apparently but so this is their downtown marina and on their downtown marina i tried to load it up and uh maybe they even have this one i'm not even sure so this is the marina here so it did load up the page finally so i remember this pilot republic bar seafood this spot looks awesome in terms of a little spot just to hang out on the right on the water you can see the bridge and then this is the old town you can't really dock there because of the rocks maybe throw a anchor maybe pull in around the side but um but you can kind of see i'm going to pause this and load up the actual details uh so on their page they have a marina store here so i noticed on about us you can see boat repair marina store and boat storage they don't really even list the prices so i have no idea i'd have to call them to find out nice little option here i might try to sell some little uh, gifts or food here at their marina store it might be a good place to work with um but uh <clears throat> so what are we talking about on the map here um so basically this area is right on here so we're basically talking about this little marina right here and this is this and this might even be their marina store right right on there so uh you can also get gas at a place like this at a marina and uh, so on now this looks to be like part of the marina but maybe there's some parking for the marina here and some other things um let me see if i can get a street view uh, going for this okay so here's what this street looks like you can see you can kind of pull on in here and then this is the end of the street and then that's actually right in there is kind of the waterfront but you can't get any closer than this so uh, if I exit the street view you can kind of see where we're at so we're, we were like right in here and that right there is the entrance and maybe there's even another entrance if you want to get your boat I don't know what you're gonna do you gotta kind of meander down here and hopefully pull your pull your boat in that way but uh, so there may be <clears throat> usually they have cranes and stuff at these boat yards and this looks like a pretty serious boat yard so 
big uh, storage here. So you, you might pull it in here and then they might crane it down here and rotate it and turn and then put them in these docks and they even probably have two levels inside of there. So, uh, and then you can get boat repairs, usually for the engine. They might just take off the engine and uh, dock you or something. But uh, <clears throat> probably there's a boat repair spot maybe even on here. So <clears throat> looks like fairly large boats, maybe um, 50 feet or so. Um, maybe, uh, maybe, I don't know. We'll see how many feet that is. But um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so this, this to me is like the really cool guys to work with if you can – work with a boating company here and then maybe trying to talk with these long time guys along in here. So, uh, but, uh, other than that, um, <coughs> um, I'm just going to cruise on down just to double check here. So there may be some options in here, but this is pretty expensive waterfront. Um, this is Los Alas. If you're familiar there's a little street, and I think this is it here. So uh, let's see what this says right here on this guy. Los Alas Boulevard. So this is a major street just for entertainment's sake. Um, so being close to that really helps a lot. Um, a lot of things don't really happen downtown. There's kind of this smaller street here. So, <clears throat> so basically, the closer you can be to uh, this area, the better. Um, and uh, honestly, the options are kind of limited. Maybe just this, really this block here. Um, maybe a block in here, some of these guys, and even that, why not just walk over? So, uh, but uh, but anyway, so you kind of got the, the point here. Um, these guys, the docks here, and this is all very highly regulated, I'm sure. Um, there's like a harbor master that cruises this maybe even every few hours. Um, to check on documents and uh, stickers on the side of the boats, registration and all that. So, uh, but if you work with the boat yard, you can kind of work on things or some of these people already have registered boats that are just fine. So, and it's probably not, the Harbor Master is probably cruising on in here and <clears throat> maybe once a month checks each one of these just to see how the these aisles are doing this is quite a lot of work to do so in terms of these boat yards um so i'm gonna go back and see what's on there uh so there might be some street view possibilities in here i'm not sure what's taking my computer so long to load up a street view here but we'll see if we can get to that point okay so here we are kind of looking more carefully at the boat yard these are quite large boats so um i would say Man, how many feet is this? So those could be 200 plus feet. So, you know, getting this boat, getting a boat this size on and off the water is probably next to impossible. So I, I don't know. Some of these may be for sale. I don't have that kind of money, but <clears throat> you see this big crane, this green thing looks to be a crane. And they just kind of, maybe it's not as complicated as I think. Just drop it in. Um, but uh how they get these boats in, I do not know. So, um, but the medium sized ones you can get in pretty easily. So they bring them in and crane them. But uh, looks like that would be pretty hard to uh, buy boats in this particular boat yard. But actually, maybe not for Fort Lauderdale. This might be pretty easy. Um, and even ginormous boats out in here parked. And man, they must just bring them on in. So just park them here. Got a few million dollars. I, I, I would love to know how much it costs to just drop one of these in and out. So they do have public boat launches. So I did try to look for those. Um, and I think I have a page link for that. So, but uh, the marinas, you can go with them or you can do a public boat launch. And sometimes like at the end of the road here, they have, looks like this might be a private boat launch, right? But they do have public boat launches and even here, I, I don't know what's going on, so I don't, don't quote me on public boat launches. But uh, but if we looked for it, we could see where the public boat launches. But the reason I'm zooming in here is basically because of buying opportunities and also just looking at boats that are just kind of been sitting there for a while. Maybe those guys might be good to talk with. So 
certainly I need some help. Um, these look like even houses um, connected to the boatyard. So maybe they built, um, I, I don't know what's going on there, or even an office. This looks like an office park. So I, I don't know exactly what the deal is. I haven't wandered around this yard. You might talk with these guys. Looks like LMC here or something. Um, and say, hey, can I uh, take a look at the boats? I'm interested in seeing what is for sale. Um, and uh, usually they're pretty friendly, but I don't know. This is Fort Lauderdale. Who knows? And this is a breaker here, so you can dock a boat up here, maybe get gas, or I, I don't know where the gas station operation is. But this looks like maybe part of how they get the boats in. It looks like another crane here. Um, but... <clears throat> Where they do that, I don't know, um, but they would definitely need two sides to the crane for these bigger ones. Um, but uh, it's hydraulics, I imagine, so it's maybe not totally impossible to get these boats off the ground and into the water. But uh, certainly even just navigating down this river would be, God, uh, you have to worry about your insurance for sure. This The size of this boat versus the bridge here is kind of scaring me. Um, whether or not you can actually really you probably need a tugboat so that's probably the business so these guys over here they have a tugboat company operation and they just cruise on up the river and pick up the boats because there's no way these big boats are going to make it quite easily even around that turn so um <clears throat> now this yard here looks like some other more common boats and this to me shows what 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 you really are looking for is like a yacht club or a private club that is connected to one of the boat yards and i didn't see anything out here but there probably is one related now, this looks like housing and maybe you owned a boat as well as <clears throat> right on the water here so <clears throat> this whole area was probably dredged who knows what happened here so and it looks like even on the other side of this river these guys were trying to do you know maybe have a boat area but just didn't make it in terms of pricing or who knows how they get underneath this uh piece here so this looks like it does have a little uh space to get through but whether or not you can make it into these big areas i don't know what's going on back in here so but um <clears throat> perhaps the last opportunity and furthest and might be the cheapest uh would be these guys back in here um and you can even you know tow the boat if it's one of these smaller guys you can maybe even tow it on the road and bring it pull it on in and you probably wouldn't even do it here you'd probably you just drive it all the way right to the waterfront and uh, figure out a boat landing area or a yacht club or something else so <clears throat> Um, but anyway, um, I'm pretty much exhausted trying to look into this right now. Um, uh, but if you're interested and you see some other things I didn't, or just some details about, uh, boating in Fort Lauderdale, where you'd park your boat, how you get it in and out, um, or even giant, enormous pieces of property that look to be, uh, empty, um, let me know, uh, what's going on. So, <clears throat> um, uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of different things happening here, and uh, it would be uh, interesting to uh, see, um, you know, like how you're trying to do this. Uh, what, 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 what do you do for the cheapest way to do this? Hope you have fun and talk with me soon. See you. Ciao.